Space rocks. Did you know that there are a lot of rocks flying around in space? Known as near Earth objects, these celestial rocks come in a wide variety of sizes and shapes. Space rocks enable scientists and astronomers to learn about the origin and history of our solar system. There are three main types asteroids, comets, and meteoroids. Asteroids. Asteroids are relatively big space rocks also known as minor planets or planetoids. Most asteroids are made up of boulders, though some are composed of metals, such as nickel and iron. While the smallest asteroids are less than a meter in diameter, the biggest can be several hundred kilometers wide. According to NASA, one of the largest asteroids ever discovered, Vesta, has a diameter of 525 kilometers. There are thousands of irregularly shaped asteroids orbiting the Sun, along with the eight planets. Most of these rocks travel in an area of space between Mars and Jupiter, known as the asteroid belt. Comets Comets also orbit the Sun, like asteroids. Most comets come from the Oort Cloud, a very cold area that lies beyond Neptune and Pluto and surrounds our solar system. They are basically made up of icy clumps, dust and rocky particles. The solid center of a comet, called the nucleus, is generally less than 10 kilometers wide. The main difference between a comet and an asteroid is that the former displays a visible tail whereas the latter does not. The tail of a comet can reach 150 million kilometers in length. Meteoroids A meteoroid is a small piece of asteroid or comet formed when two or more of these objects collide with each other. Most meteoroids are less than 10 meters wide. These fragments travel through space around the Sun until they are drawn to a planet by gravity. When a meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, it is called a meteor or a shooting star. This is because it creates a bright streak of light as it burns up. When a huge number of meteoroids get through our atmosphere and fly across the sky at night, we can see a meteor shower. A meteor that passes through the atmosphere without completely burning up and lands on the Earth is called a meteorite. By the time they reach the Earth's surface, most meteorites have become very small so they rarely cause any significant damage. It is possible that gigantic meteorites may land on the Earth, and it can be disastrous. Astronomers believe that a meteorite about 60 meters in diameter touched down in Siberia on June 30, 1908. It caused an explosion that destroyed over 2,000 square kilometers of forest. Fortunately, this area of Siberia was uninhabited and there was no report of any human casualties.